Hello everybody, You Know Who here, and welcome to another episode of You Know Who News, where I basically just do reaction videos and updates on the NTC Juniors channel. So, today I'm doing a reaction video to Shape Tales, Where's the Lore When I'm Afraid, which is the very first Shape Tales video. Uh, yeah, Shape Tales was created by Horsey the Horse and Shane Spicer. Yeah, a talking horse... And a teenager created the show. I don't mind. And yeah, I'm glad it's Where's the Lore When I'm Afraid. It's better than Where's Circle When I'm Afraid. Don't judge me on this. And yes, subs which I suggest subscribe to their channel. It's in the link description below. So, alright, let's stop the dilly-dallying and let's just react to this thing. Alright, so here, alright, roll the video. Aw, oh, big world. This ought to be good. Shape Tales official. Hey there, this is Horsey the Horse. And this is Oh, Shane that Spicer. must be Horsey the Horse and Shane Spicer. Shane Spicer. And you will know us soon by doing the voices of Jimmy the Speed and Alvin the Cole. Thanks to spoil. Where is the lore when I'm afraid? The very first Shape Tales episode. It doesn't look as good. Good, you know. Okay, why does this kid sound just like me? Biggest, and he's watching out for you and me. We hope you enjoyed the show, right, Jimmy? Absolutely, Alvin. Okay, Alvin. It's time to oh, okay. so. Okay, Shay. Well, okay, Shay. It's time for the commentary. Okay, okay. Big World Productions Hello, presents. You've got a guitar. Jimmy, I don't have any hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Wait a minute. Uh, how about Shape Tales. Play yourself? Uh, what happened to the tuba? That? Wait, oh, the hospital? This is fun. Uh, uh, no, not gonna break my gut again. Alvin has uh, a gut, uh, created by horses of horses and Shane Spicer. But shapes have right. guts. But I'm only doing it for the kid. And also, they better not make fun of me. We okay. won't. It's time, man. You need to get out there. Got it. All right. Hey, that must be Alvin the Cone. Hey, wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Why couldn't they just use the theme song that was posted? If you like to talk to circles, love the new improvements though. Because it's like, if you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile. But now this is, if you like to talk to circles, if you like to, if you like to, if a size can make you smile. Contain your weird eyes, Jimmy. Oh, now this is catchy. Shapey tail, shapey tail, shapey tail, shapey tail, shapey tail, shapey tails. What the? Who are these people? Who the heck is she? Oh, Alvin's back. Oh, so Shape Tales is a parody of Veggie Tales, but with shapes. Wow. Guys. I think I need to go to the hospital again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I laughed. Well, hello, kids, and welcome to Shape Tales. I'm Jimmy the Spear, and I'm Alvin the Cone, and we're here to answer your questions. That's right. Oh, this is so much better than I watched that with that posted Shape Tales when they were on the countertop. So much better than that. I am five years old. Sometimes I think Wait. There are monsters oh, so that's bed. Sam Bowman. That makes me really afraid. Can you help me out? Whoa. You know, I always remember that I thought there were monsters under my bed. Really, oh, Alvin? Alvin, what happened then? Well, Jimmy, I had a big misunderstanding. That wasn't a monster under my bed at all. Only my squishy rabbit slippers when I was a baby cone. Wait. It was not the uh, theory, Alvin, just... you're a cone. Well, you don't have any. <laughs> I see that. Well, Sam Bowman, two things you should do. One, check to see if it's just your slippers. Two, 
Watch the story of when Charlie Cylinder got a little afraid. Okay, then. Wait, is Charlie, like, Junior? Big World Productions presents... Tales from the Kelper? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That voice is hilarious. Grab, you better step back and be <laughs> wow. That just sounds like an evil version of Eddie Murphy. These two are, these two are hilarious. Yes, it's alive! Alive! <laughs> Stand! Great Scott! Look how big it is! It's the size of a beast! Speak! Oh my god. Now walk to me! Wait, why can't they just call no, this no, Tales from the this Caper? Way. But whatever works. I got this bite. I come back here. No, don't go near that. That's Frank and Hand. He more looks like a bug. Come back. Stay away from those villagers. Impressive transition. Wait, is that Charlie Cylinder? Is that guy like Junior? Charlie. It's time for bed. Um, just oh, five so more minutes, please. That's what you just said five minutes ago. That's what you get when you mess with the... Uh... Your father will be in, up in a minute to tuck you in. How old is Charlie? Besides, I think this show might be a little too creepy for you. Why is he raised by Smiley? Not Shouldn't not he be raised early. by cylinders? I... I like it. Yeah. Lying at the age of... I'm not... Why don't I know how old Charlie is? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> what the... Oh, 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 so this is Charlie's room. Oh, my God. It was just monsters. I gotta Around admit, this me. is pretty clever and creative. Where's the stars? <laughs> what the? Jimmy, I'm a spear, and I'm here to help you. Oh, a spear named Jimmy comes up and says, I'm here to help There's you. There's something in my toy chest. It's a monster. It's a big, scary lizard. It's a, it's a, well, it's not a something, but it's a someone. A triangle? Wow. Um, technically he's a cone. Uh, 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 that carpet just moved. That carpet just was, became bigger. What they what I miss? Oh, oh. <laughs> Ball. You see, we couldn't help but notice, but we heard you were just a little bit scared, so Oliver and I dropped in to help. Perfect. Yeah, so fear not. Santa Claus will come right down the chimney, eat us and deliver for us as a chimney will go all the way to the ball. Alvin, long story, man. Oh, right. That was supposed to be said until Christmas. Why'd you say it now, then? Well, I wasn't really afraid, you know. Liar. It was just some TV show with creepy monsters. And I'm six years old. I, I could handle it. Finally. So you Wait, weren't it's like Lucy Anderson was no, six and... I wasn't afraid. Oh, you know, now they switched it. I wasn't afraid. No, Jimmy, I'm afraid of it. Well, maybe just a little bit. Oh, really? So you were just a little bit afraid? Oh, a little bit. But not too afraid. Why? Oh, yeah, we all get that. Uh-huh. Why? How could you guys help me? I mean, if I was afraid. Oh, nothing really. We were just gonna sing you a little song. That's all. Really? But we understand. Since you're not afraid, I, I guess we'll just be on our way. Yes, see ya? No, no, wait, wait. Bye. I guess a little song would be nice. But since you guys are in the neighborhood... But if you weren't afraid, then there's really no reason we should be here. So, Alvin and I will go now. Please. No. Charlie, you're not afraid. Because that's why. Uh, so, me Alvin, Jimmy, you had to stutter. Sing the song. What the? Jimmy, you better sing the song. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. Okay. Wow. Here we go. I gotta tell Junior to use that in his review. Because the room was getting creepy. 
Awkward. Where those eyes come from? Shrink annoying guys. <laughs> I get it because it's Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Oh, they're letting Alvin sing this? <clears throat> oh, since Larry doesn't get a lot of singing. He symbolizes my thought. So what you gonna do? <laughs> wow. It's funny. It's like, you look good dead in the eye. And you say, so what you gonna do? Are you crazy? What are we gonna do? Because the Lord is bigger than the oh, this is already good. The Lord is bigger than the Yes. I. Well. Um, say yes, Charlie. Um, say yes. No, to be honest. Really? Wow. That just happened. Look, we're saying is you don't need to be afraid because the Lord is the biggest. What? Is he bigger than Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong? Because he's really. No, I did no. He did he just mention Donkey Kong? No, he did no. He did no. The Lord, Charlie. Donkey Kong is a friendly gorilla. Real? Really? No. Well, is he bigger than Chaos? He oh my god, I just want to... Oh my god! Adventure. He mentioned well, Chaos from Sonic Adventure. He would look like not a teeny little cornflake, but a little puddle of water. Ah, the eyes always have to clip. You know, do all those kind of stuff, too. You mean have superpowers? Yeah. Chaos has superpowers? That... Does God have superpowers of a gorilla and water? <coughs> Dude, you got a lot to learn. Got Charlie, come over here. What do you see out there? Oh, Charlie was in front, and now he's back. I don't see anything but the darkness. You need to look closer. Look outside the window, up on the sky. Oh, now you animated oh, the stars. I can see lots of stars. Hey, what do you bet? God, God all those stars under nothing. He just went, and then, do 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 No way! No way! No so way. great! Even the earth that we're living in right now. Wow! Wow! No chaos wouldn't do anything about that. He would destroy the city and make everything really wet. I guess someone has been playing Sonic Adventure so much. You know how to live, right? Now that is a pretty good actor. <laughs> That joke is mu too much. That's my favorite what? joke ever no, in this in this episode. This is too much. Hey, and don't forget the people too. Wow. And you see, that's why you don't have to be afraid or scared. Can you explain a little bit more? I'm still not getting it. Wow. Charlie, everything makes very special to the Lord. He made all the little kids, and he loves them very much. Ah, oh, that window. He loves us, he Man, there's there so many care. mistakes in this. So don't be scared. But I'll get but the point it out. always looking out for us, Charlie. Oh. So the Lord is the biggest in anyone all, and he's on the good guys team. That's right. You can't be on the bad guys? And by the way, there's someone else who wants to meet you. What? What? Oh, yeah. Who could it be, actually? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's a bug. Technically, it's the actor who pl who played Frankenhead. You know your name, sir? More stuttering. Uh, well, actor, my name is Mike Rossink, and I'm Mike an Rossing? actor from Hollywood. What? Hollywood? No uh, way. I thought your name was Bill Wrinklestein, and you're an actor from Toledo. Alvin. <laughs> I get it, because it's like, hey, Alvin! You see, I was just pretending to be Frankenhead in that TV show. And, um, that is my job. I'm just a regular hand, and I wouldn't want to hurt anybody. Oh, I get it. I don't get Music it. Music, maestro. 
Oh, we're going back to the song. That's one good smile. But I'm just gonna sing along. Oh, Lord is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or the lobsters on TV. The Lord is bigger than the boogeyman. And he's watching out for you and me. Monsters from the theme song. The Lord. Lord is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. The Lord is bigger than the boogeyman, and he's watching out for you and me. The Lord is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. The Lord is bigger than the boogeyman, and he's watching out for you and me. He's watching out for you and me. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it, watch it. Whoa, where did everybody go? Hey, Charlie, what's all that racket in there? Whoa, Sorry. something does not sound yeah. right about that I dad. I was singing. Well, your mother and I thought that show was a little too creepy for you. Well, maybe, but but you know that was actually Mike Wallace from. Hollywood. And he's not really scary at all. Besides, God is bigger than any of them, even though he doesn't have a gorilla or water powers. He made the whole universe. And he's taking care of me, too. Uh, uh, wow. You're actually right. Of course he's right. He's a six-year-old. about God being bigger than anyone else. And also, also taking care of us. Be careful what we watch on TV. Oh, and Charlie, it's okay to tell your mother and me if you're even afraid. Okay, I guess you're right. Sounds like you've been doing a lot of thinking. But it's time to shut the thinker down and get some sleep. Okay. I love you, little mister. I love you, big mister. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Wait, this ain't right. It's the Lord. But Lord and God are the same people, so. She's one heavy sleeper. Look at that. Sleeping like an angel. Wait, is that the picture talking? So cute when he's asleep. No, wait, that's just them in the background. Not interfering? Got it. This is just basically VeggieTales. So, what are the silly songs called? And now it's time for Goofy Songs with Alvin. Wait, they're called the Goofy Songs? Alvin comes out and sings a Goofy song. It's so like Goofy. Oh, do. yo, oh. Goofy Songs with Alvin. Oh, hey, Ladies Alvin. gentlemen, we invite you to relax. Let's just pull up a chair. As I, Alvin the Cone, proudly present the Baby Kangaroo song. Oh, this ought to be good. Hey, this is the Baby Kangaroo song from the end of Veggie Tales. Well, the Water Buffalo song. First, what's small, then what about you? Oh, everybody's got a baby kangaroo. I cook my kangaroo delicious stew. Got his head stuck in a shoe. Spilled some peanuts that got the flu. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop laughing, like what do you think you're doing, Alvin? Oh, yeah, that that guy's Lumiere Smiley. He's the French version of Archibald Asparagus. Yeah, he sounds a lot like Ian McGregor from Beauty and the Beast. I and are you still prepared to deal with that? I, I, I don't think so. So stop being so goofy. And besides, what about the don't have for? I thought you already knew that by now. 
Wow, it's funny when you say, this is big, could be salt, but that'll be. Oh, the water buffalo's on. Yeah, I'm just gonna admit, everybody's got a baby kangaroo. Yours is pink, but mine is blue. Big World Productions presents... Daniel in the Lion's Den. With Lumiere Smiley as King Darius. And Alvin the Cone as Daniel. Long, long ago, in the faraway land... Mmm, this is all skip. I'm just kidding. See, when Daniel was a boy, he was seeking home from Judah to live in a city called Babylon. Interesting. Where he went to school in the palace of a Babylonian king. And Daniel misses home very much. And every day he prayed that God would take care of his family and his friends and look after him too. God heard his prayers to help Daniel become wise as he grew older. Tell everyone the Are we just going to keep staring at that, that background? But oh, finally. One night, while Babylon was sleeping, the king had a dream. <gasps> oh, no! Um, are these more comb? No, wait, they're pyramids. Oh, wait, they're like the scallions? A cylinder and a... I am Darius. Oh, Lumiere. I had a dream. And now I'm feeling rather flat and I wish someone would tell me what it means. You guys tell him, I'm not. We are your wise men. Yes, that is true. Roll the eyes and scoff at them. Even though we're using our wisdom, we are afraid we can't explain our dream to you. Really? What was that? There is one who's wise as spirit, and Daniel is his name. So before you take another sleep, this, this guy sounds like a boy. I know he's voiced by a... but he sounds like a girl. You can come in, you auntie Daniel. <laughs> How long has he been waving that door? Okay, which one of you guys is King Darius? That's for me, me, sire. The French okay. king. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Daniel. That much is true. Skull. But it is God who gives me wisdom and for me. He will explain your dreams to you. Let's hope he does. Well, Daniel was able More to narration. explain the king's dream, and that made the king very happy. So, King Darius, that is what your dream means. You can take the clean dream, Pledge of Legions. Good job, I will expand. From now on, I want to the city. Yeah. At the same, at the same. Because you got mine. What? I can't believe it. What the heck? That sounds like Stitch. This was very good news for Daniel, but very bad news for the wise men. You see, each one of them want to be a second in command. But now that Daniel got the job, the wise men would have to do whatever he said. And that made the wise men very unhappy. So they immediately started thinking what are you ways doing? to get rid of Daniel. Oh, they're thinking of ways to get rid of Daniel. These pyramids are like the... Oh, yes. You know, I think I'm going to join them while they sing. Oh no, what we gonna do? The king likes Daniel more than me and you. Oh no, what we gonna do? We got to get him out of here. Oh no, what we gonna do? The king likes Daniel more than me and you. Oh no, what we gonna do? We gotta get him out of here. Wait, what? Back up for a minute. Oh 
This guy has no idea what he's saying. Yo, you know the scream all the way. We can feel his ears with cheese balls and his nachos with obey. We put him as a footstool or a table to play Scrabble on a time up and beat him up and throw him out of time. Babylon. Or we can do this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. I like it. It's sneaky and it just might work. We can use some other pussy for a table to respect while the time of the beat 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 of We've got some news, good King Darius. We fear your position is precarious. There are some people here in Babylon who won't give you your due. They rather bow to other men. I can't be so, can it? Let's go. The oh, blinks. Yeah. We brought a solution of our own design. If you'll just sign this paper on the dotted line. Yes, I need this station most precisely what we're all to do. We must bow our heads on the knees before no one but you. I see. Knees? Um, mm -hmm. as you can see. I, I, I hate to be a bother, but we're safe. We don't have any need. Oh, uh, thanks for, thanks for symbolizing for my thought, Pyramid Number 2. <laughs> no, 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 don't apologize. Oh, just one more time. Now let's see if I got this straight. <laughs> oh my god. I would love to clue what's and for all that I am grave. If I'm the king, no one must stop my voice and pray to see. So from this day forth, my citizens will pray to only me. Yes. But what if they don't do it? If they don't obey any citizen. We'll be thrown into the lion's den. <laughs> My god. Oh, yes? Well, I guess that will do it. All right then. Good, man. Tiny nose. Ta-da! Ta-da! Idiots. Oh, the, oh, is that a female? Oh, it's a female angel, I think. Everyone in Babylon heard about the new law, including Daniel. Hey, it's the city, I think. Daniel also knew God's law, and God's law told him that he should only pray to the Lord. So the next day, just like he does every other day, Daniel prayed and thanked God for the sunshine and for all of his friends. He also thanked the Lord for giving him the courage to do what was right, even though he could get him in trouble. Hold on. Did you say go? Boy, Alvin, that is some serious okay. football you intend to break. I have to disagree with you on that. What trouble could come bursting through that door in this hour? Aha! Right, right, Aha! Uh, can I help you with something, Phyllis? <laughs> so you guys are white now. Now we are. Hold it. Uh, do you always have to be white? No, just a bit. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, I see the mountain from here. No way, that's a mountain top. Finally. <laughs> well, Daniel, because your violence is section 4219 of 2R my 4006.1-7, B, of the code of Babylon to pray to anyone but King Darius, you're hereby sense to be consumed by the lions. Goodbye. Wait, I'm uncomfortable with this. No! Nope, oh, he's dead. I don't know what that was, but you can not tell me he fell from that big a height to survive. There's no way he fell from that big of heights to survive. There's no way. Oh, son of a goat. What in the hell just happened? You fell. Oh, lion puns. Very funny. Well, yeah. You better be lying down. No, don't ruin it. Don't. 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 Why are you 
<laughs> you ruined it. That last one did not make sense. Uh, okay, I'm gonna agree with Daniel on this one. Why is it gonna lie on you? I'm not gonna lie on them. I gotta eat them. I'm not gonna lie on them. Come on, maybe they're gonna lie on them and then eat them. A lie on my other one, maybe eat them. Or lie on oh, him well, in order to kill him. <laughs> This is too hilarious. Let me get something to you straight. We're gonna run to a lie, not the lie. Fantastic editing on the darkness part. Hmm. It's not so creepy down here. A little musky and filthy, but not so creepy. Oh, the old white skin. Nice kitties. Good kitties. Oh boy. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh. It looks like I'm gonna end up in blood and stew. Nice rhyme. Right. He's say that even though he's Don't cry, Daniel. Is that a beautiful voice from heaven? Oh the stars. Wait, why couldn't you just climb out of that hole then? Alvin's crying. <laughs> that was beautiful. Even though he didn't still didn't know what to expect, Daniel felt better. Who voiced that, that female soloist? Even in the lion's den. Also in the kingdom, the wise one to visit Because the shape tales, who voices that so female well. soloist? Oh, the king, then he believed he lost a good friend, decided the only thing to do was to pray to Daniel's god that would protect him. Is Lomir crying? This morning, everyone ran down to the lion's den to see what was left of Daniel. Well, I'm gonna go mm -hmm. survive. Guys, it's hopeless. No one can survive a night with those lions. Hello? Wait, that's only sound like Mushu. Something? What? <laughs> Hell no, it can't be. But it Hello? is. Hello? Hey, Daniel, is that you? Oh yeah, get there. I'll be right up. Or is it gonna say goodbye to my new friends? Sacre bleu. That's impossible. Sacre bleu. It is. It is. Well, hello, everybody. Bye, Daniel. Well, bye, Larry. Bye, Curly. Bye, Bo. Oh, and thanks for the pizza. They have pizza? <laughs> Donkey! I think it's a miracle! Oh my god, there are so many musical numbers! For even at the bottom of the lion's den, you are in his Han Solo. You were in his Han Solo. I got it. I'm making a new law. So from this day forward, everyone needs to pray only to Daniel's God. No more silly praying to me, business. Which, speaking of which, I still need to talk with the three of you. Uh, blah, blah. Oh my God. I usually look at the wise man down in Egypt. What's this fun? But we've got to go now. Yep. See you later. Uh, well, well, where do you think you're going? Come back here, you little Oh, here And yes, yeah, which pose? Good job. Why, thank you, Jimmy. It was my finest hour. We're over here by Corey and Tupelo to talk about what we learned today. Wait, what the heck? This is catchy. It's the knickknack song. Wait, what the heck? Of a world of lies to all lies today, and what the Lord has to say in his book. Okay, that sounded weird, but anyway, enjoyable.
They're doing it again? You see, we know that the Lord's words are for everyone. And now that the sun's done, let's go take a look. Probably the best song I ever heard. Yeah, if you like that kind of singing, yeah. Jimmy. I will admit the song it is weird, so see, but it's catchy too. Charlie soon to learn that the Lord is bigger than anything in the whole world, and because the Lord loves us so much, He's always looking after us. So you don't have to be scared. Yep, and in the Bible, Daniel learned that the Lord was taking care of it, even down there with those big, scary lions. That's right. Now let's see if Query Two Point Oh has a verse. Query Two Point Oh. That sounds like Nolan North. <laughs> Wait, what about ground beef responses with that? Um, Quarry to Vanilla, that's a recipe for meatloaf. That's not a verse. Actually, it's the stuff you need for meatloaf. Alvin's oh. right again. Okay, then. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, there you go. And yes, as the Lord said, Isaiah 41.10. So do not fear, for I am with you. So the next time they get scared, just remember that verse. And tonight, before you go to sleep, why don't you pray with your mom and dad and thank the Lord for always looking out for you. That's a good idea, Jimmy. First Sam. Thanks, Alvin. Well, kids, that's it for now. Until next time, remember, the Lord makes you special and he loves you very much. Bye. Bye. Oh, so this film's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, stop, sorry. Alright, let's see. Cast of the Forest segments, Horsey the Horse, Jimmy the Sphere, Lumiere Smiley, Announcer. Shane Spicer, Alvin the Cone, QWERTY 2.0. Wait, he was QWERTY 2.0? I gotta, I gotta know how he does that. Felicia Spicer as Sam Ballman. Sorry, I had to stop again, but voices. Horsey the Horse, Jimmy the Sphere, Dr. Handenstein, Frankenhan, or Mike Rossi from Hollywood. Anna Spicer as Charlie Cylinder and Mom Smiley. Opal Spicer as Tiny Monster. Sean Spicer as Tiny Monster. Shane Spicer as Alvin the Cone and Gerb. Unicorn, the Unicorn as Dad Smiley and the Tiny Monster. Makes sense. Unicorn, if you're watching it, you really gotta improve on your dad smiley voice for the next episode. Parody of Ta Oh come on, big world! Parody of Veggie Tales Tales from the Crisper. Still could have called it Tales from the Caper. Oh, here we go. Oh, so Sean did the narration. Female soloist, but which is which? All right, let's see. Horsey the Horse is King Darius, which Darius is spelled wrong. Who is Lemire Smiley? And Pyramid Number One, which was that orange guy. And a Smiley as, um, I mean, Anna Spicer as the Smiley Guard, which is Mom Smiley. Opal Spicer's Cylinder Guard, Shade Spicer's Daniel, which is out of the cone, and Pyramid Number Two, the tall one. Teddy Bear is Pyramid Number Three. Wait, Teddy's a female? Oh no wonder she sounds there. And Unicorn the Unicorn as the Lions. So the voice of Charlie Cylinder and that Cylinder Guard did the soloist. But which is which?
Oh, Shake Tales. Parody of VeggieTales Daniel in the Lion's Den? Really? Okay, wow. So that was the video. How was it in my opinion? I, I actually like it. It's good for Christians and it's a parody of Edgy Tales. Like, kind of like it. Yeah. Hey, Shape Tales Official, if you're watching this video, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. You're doing a good job. So, subs. Oh, and everyone, yet again, subscribe to Shape Tales Official right now. And go watch their videos as they support you with Christian stuff from the Lord. So, and yet again, that concludes another episode of You Know Who News. Thanks for watching, and forevermore, I'm You Know Who, and I'm out, y'all. Peace!